So we've installed and we've looked at and experimented with a Lens Studio um, template for photo. And now we're going to actually paint a photo ourselves using GIMP. GIMP is a free open source um, software. It's an alternative to Photoshop, so you can do photo manipulation, you can do drawing, you can do design in it. And let's go ahead and just, just so I can show you, I'm gonna go to Google, close out some of this stuff. I'm just gonna type GIMP, whoops, GIMP brushes. I'm just going to Google GIMP, and you will see GIMP. GNU image manipulation program find that click on it and this is where you can locate it this is where you can download it there's more about this in the graphic design tutorial or the graphic design learning path so I'm not gonna go over GIMP in detail here we're just gonna use a template that I've made for GIMP so you can use the same template in like Photoshop or something like that um, there will be a Photoshop version if you want it in the folder it's not in there right now but if you're using Photoshop just look for that so this is the Sideshow AR Lens Studio folder that I had um, that I have linked in the project description. So this is where the project files are. I'm gonna click on that. So right here, this is the project file I've been messing with and just saved, but Sideshow AR Lens Studio, that's where you wanna look. Assets, double click on that, and you'll see this face paint template. There will be this GIMP version, and there'll also be a Photoshop version for y'all, no big deal. I'm going to double click on that and open it up and it's going to go ahead and launch GIMP for me. Hey, look at that. Ooh, mushrooms. Pretty, 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 pretty. There we go. It opened it on the wrong window. Let me go ahead and drag that over here and I'm going to full screen it. So this is the project template that I have created. Let me go ahead and if you take a look at this, there's a few different things. Right now I have some selection happening. I'm going to go to control um, oh, let's actually go to this right here this is this allows me to select certain areas but I don't really want to but I want to these are the tools up at the top left so these are the different tools you can use we're gonna focus on one tool in particular and that is right here it looks like a little paintbrush it's the paintbrush tool solid we'll come back to that in a second I just want to show you what's going on over here so over to the right you're gonna see layers and right here you'll see a layer group it just says layer group. If I turn that off, that's a background layer. And we're using this as a template so we can see what we're actually drawing on and designing. And you'll see if I click on this little dot right here, that kind of opens up and we can see what's in there. I have this face reference ping, which I got from Lens Studio. Um, there's actually a, there's, um, a template that's a little bit more in detail that you can get from there. And there's also this paint area guide, which has these green dots, which tells me where I want to focus my painting for my actual lens face. So I'm not going to worry about messing with those too much. I'm worried about this right here, this face paint right here. This is a blank layer and I'm going to actually paint on this. And this is how I'm going to make my cool, super rad paint design. I'm going to make something simple, but you can take some time and really do something super solid. All right, with this selected, because this is where I want to draw on face paint, I'm going to come over here back to make sure my brush tool is selected. And that's that little brush tool here. And we've got all these options. First right here, we have these color options. I'm going to click on this middle thing where I have this kind of magenta and I want to make it blue so I can kind of move this around to find the shade of blue I want. I like that. I'm going to hit OK. And you have to hit OK. If you hit it and you move it and you just hit the X button, it won't save what you just changed. So make sure you hit OK. Now we have this mode here, leave it on normal. It's just a normal brush so we can paint on stuff. And then we have a few different brush options here. Like we can click on this, see that picture? And this will show us our different brushes. Also, we can see our brushes over here, our different brush patterns. Um, if I'm to click on that right there, that's just a single pixel. Um, and now I want, and it will just be a simple drawing line. Oh, under here I have the size. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that up. 47 that's pretty big eh, that's too big and if I draw you'll see I can draw right there on them with that line yay strange nothing pattern I'm not a big fan of that so I'm gonna hit control Z a couple times until I get rid of all of that but maybe I want to give them some like eye shadowy some eye shadowy looking stuff around the eyes in that blue, there we go. Doesn't need to be perfect, 
just needs to be fun. All right, so I'm painting some eyeshadowy blue. And so because I'm selected on this face paint, I can turn that on and off and we can see, oh cool, there's my eyeshadowy blue. I'm gonna play around with some other brushes. So I'm gonna go back to the brush right here and let's go ahead and select, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that looks like a nice gritty, dirty brush. I'm gonna go ahead and do something, a different color. So I'm clicking on the color there. Ooh, I wanna make it like bubblegum-esque colors. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna go to, oh yeah, this kind of gritty dirt kind of come in here. Put that down here on the lower ends. I'm okay with it kind of going off the edges because I will be able to use that um, mask later. I want, to, I want some more color, but I like this brush, but I want it in variations of this kind of color. So I'm gonna change the hue just a little bit. I'm gonna click okay. Get some darker stuff in there. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and click on that again. Bring it up to a more red and make it a little darker. Hit OK. Oh, yeah, this is an interesting... I have no idea what I'm really making here. <laughs> I'm going to click on the brush again. Let's go do another brush. How about the moon brush? Yeah, this is like the shape of the moon. I'm going to make it nice and really, really big. Um, the size up. There's some other things you can do here, like hardness or force or things like that. Um, smooth the stroke out so it's a little simpler. Oh, that's too big for the moon. But you can play with these and experiment. There we go. Let's make the moon like a dark blue. Yeah, okay. And I'll make a moon. Yeah, there's a nice little moon action. Dirty moon action right there. Oh, look at that. This is my moon person. Um, and let's go ahead and let's grab another brush. Let's get the, ooh, what's this? This looks, in the acrylic brush. Yeah. And let's make this like a oh, super pinkish purple. There we go. I like that hue. Um, I might want to make it a little... So this is where, like, uh, I might take the hardness down. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah, and super soft, actually. Look at that good softness. Let's go ahead back in here. Let's get some blue action going on. Click OK. Um, yeah, I make sound effects when I do stuff sometimes. Um, this is a really weird face, uh, or a really weird mask. So I'm going to kind of... Finish it up with a little bit of yellow texture because I really want that good, good. Let's hit OK. Boom, boom. I want that much bigger. This is kind of this charcoal brush. <laughs> this is the dirtiest, weirdest looking th Oh, Control Z, that was too much. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into one more interesting tool. Over here is the smudge tool. Let's click on that. With the smudge tool, I can sort of smudge stuff around a bit. I'm going to go back to my brush and go to just kind of a more normal brush. If we look, Smudge Tool lets me kind of smudge colors into each other. So I'm able to make this like look a little grittier and a little like hand-touched. Looks kind of strange, no big deal. Sm Ooh, the smudge is going to look good on that eyeshadow. Oh, this is such a weird thing. Um, I'm going to finish things up by one last, one last thing. I'm going to go back to like, let's say that. I'm going to go to the brush tool, I'm going to make it smaller, and I'm going to give a super yellow outline to my lips. Bloop. Ooh, I want that thicker. Yeah. Give me that good yellow lip outline. Okay. So, <laughs> I've wasted a lot of time messing around with this. This is my mask. I'm going to turn... Now, to export this into something that we could bring into um, Snap Lens, uh, Lens, sorry, Snapchat's Lens Studio, I only want this top layer of face paint. I don't want this back layer with the person's face. So I'm going to select this layer group right here, and I'm going to go to the eyeball, this little eyeball, and I'm going to click it. And that turns off that background, and all we see is the face paint that I did. So turn that off. Let's go to File we will go to export and now this has select file type by extension so we see everything we have here I'm gonna go ahead and click on this unclick this button at the bottom here and I wanna find something called ping PNG PNG image that's what I wanna select that's gonna allow me to have a clear transparent background and right now this says face paint template I'm gonna call this 
smudgy ugly. Call yours whatever you want to call it. And I want to make sure I'm saving it in the correct folder. Um, so right now it's going to save it in the same folder I brought it, I got it out of. I can click on this and we can see there's the assets folder. So we can go, we can go to desktop. We can find that other folder. Um, I'm going to go back to up here. This has the previous thing where it was brought from. I want it in assets and that's good. So smudgy, ugly ping in assets. I'm going to go ahead and click export. And all of this, I'm just going to leave it as is. It's pretty good. So I'll click export again. And now if I want to be safe, I can, um, well, I can do a file save as, and instead of saving this as a template, I want this to be an XCF file. So that is a file that will be opened by GIMP and I will call this face paint updated just so I don't lose it. I'm going to hit save again. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit X on GIMP. I'm done with GIMP. And I'm gonna go back to our Lens Studio file we were playing with earlier by just clicking down here on the Lens Studio. And we see this is my dad file, but now I wanna import that new lens or that new face mask. Um, so I'm gonna to go to my resources window right here. And instead of dragging it, I'll show you another way. I'll click add new. And there's this import files at the bottom here. I'll click on that. And now I can go to my desktop, I can go to my Sideshow AR Lens Studio and navigate to the Assets folder where I saved my Smudgy Ugly and I will go ahead and open that. Now if I want to put Smudgy Ugly on my face here, I can go to my Object window, Face Mask Edit Me, and I will, go, I will come to over here where this texture says Dad. I'm going to click on that and I'm gonna change it to Smudgy Ugly down here. I'll select that there, double click, and oh, it's off. It's not on my face. And the reason is because it was adjusted this picture. Now I can hit reset points, but this is too big. It's off of my face, it's, it's not right. So what I need is I need that picture that I used to draw on as a reference. Well, lucky for us, I saved that background picture and this is a little bit of a weird step, but don't worry. We'll get to it. Now we could actually take some time and like move these or drag select them all and sort of move this to try to get this perfectly in place. And we could get there pretty quickly by doing that drag select that I just did. So we're moving all of these um, and it's getting close, but it's not perfect. It's not super perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that reference image. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click add new in the resources. I'm going to go to import files and you see there's this one called reference. That's the picture we were drawing on and I'm going to double click to open that. So now um, instead of smudgy ugly, I'm going to click on this smudgy ugly over here. And if you don't have these over here in your inspector, click on face mask right here, the edit me face mask. And then I'm going to click on the texture smudgy ugly and I'm going to replace it momentarily with reference. And you'll see that picture pop up over our face but we can now do the detect face. We click the detect face and it will snap it to where we want it to be. Um, and since this was the picture we used as a reference, now we can actually go back to texture reference, click on it and click on smudgy ugly. And there it is. It's as I wanted it to be my smudgy ugly face. And it's following me really well. Uh, blah. It's, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it was earlier. Um, yeah, and so if we want to, we can go into our opacity and we can start to mess with how far up or how, how much that it kind of trails off there or if it's hard at the edges. Whoops, there we go, hard at the edges. Um, I like the, I'm gonna go ahead and reset those points. It tends to be really good. So now we looked at how to make an actual face paint, um, a face, sorry, a face paint picture in GIMP and bring it into here as a ping file. Um, and in the next video, we're going to kind of go over adjusting this image on our face to make it a little bit more fun or a little bit more um, mixed in. Cool. See y'all in the next video. <gasps> ah, I love that.